I'm not gonna lie, it's tough out here. But would I rather be doing anything else? Nope. Hi, my name is Caleb and I'm a professional full-time boudoir photographer based in Bend, Oregon. And I've been a full-time photographer for almost two years. And when I say that there have been ups and downs, there have been some major ups and downs. So I wanted to talk today about four hard truths about being a full-time photographer in 2023. First off, let's talk about the economy. It's no secret that things are tough right now, that inflation, even though it's slowing and is getting better, has been pretty high. And wages have not kept up. Although they haven't really kept up for like the last 40 years anyway. So it'd be natural to assume that people don't have money to spend on photography right now. However, that's not the case at all. If you find and communicate with your ideal client, they will always be willing to spend money on your photography. Remember, our clients will only see the value in our work if we see the value in our work. So even though sometimes it feels like, oh my God, the economy is closing in on me. How am I gonna make enough money? I should do a discount. I should do some sales. Invest that time and energy into communicating with the right clientele and you'll never have to worry. Now, alongside with the economy being a little weird right now, that makes commercial real estate really weird right now. For example, in my city in Bend, Oregon, commercial real estate is obscene right now. It literally just doesn't make any sense how much some of these spaces cost. So it can make it a little complicated to have a dedicated workspace or somewhere that you can go where you don't have to buy a coffee or something. Or you might have to rent out rentable studio spaces more than you would ideally like to. But if we remain adaptive and keep our finger on the pulse of the way things are going, we should be able to weather any economic weirdness. Hard truth number two about being a full-time photographer is that logistics are a nightmare. If you're a pie in the sky, hard on your sleeve creator, like I am, business is tough. I just want to be out taking cool pictures and hanging out with cool clients and making cool things. But so much of my time is spent making sure calendars sync with each other, making sure payments go to the right place so that I have money in the right spot for bills, and a million other types of logistical concerns that are just tough. Business is hard. Being a business person is not easy. Although side note, I have been reading this book, Profit First, which has a really good approach to where you put your money and how you organize your finances and everything like that. Take a read. I probably spend more time in my CRM, customer relationship management software, than I do ever taking pictures. I use HoneyBook and it's pretty good and pretty intuitive. I do have a 20% off coupon code in the description. I don't think I see anything from that, but it's there. Figuring out good systems and structures and time management is really hard. It takes a lot of discipline and a lot of trial and error. And I'm not gonna lie, it can be a little disheartening. Business, again, is really tough. I know that there are other photographers who teach courses on that, so maybe I should take one of those courses. Maybe you should take one of those courses. I don't know. But anyway, just know that logistics is something you're gonna spend a lot of your time doing. Hard truth number three is that technology is coming for us all. Isn't it weird that the jobs that AI came for are the creative jobs instead of like the manual labor jobs? Wouldn't it have been nice if the robots made hard manual labor obsolete so that we could all just have a nice life? Anyway, we've all seen the rise of generative AI and what it can do to images in general. I mean, who amongst us didn't make one of those cute little AI Lunasa profile pictures, right? And for some people, that's gonna be good enough. I've got people who I'm connected with on LinkedIn who are using AI profile pictures. Now that being said, it's not all doom and gloom. People will always value and cherish and pay for good photography of themselves. But what we have to do is craft experiences that match the quality of our photography to ensure that our product is better, is more real, is more tangible, than an AI generated photo. Which is why so many people I think are gravitating towards film again, because it is real, it's tangible, it's physical. I love film and it has been a blast reacquainting myself with how film works. So the more we make our work AI proof, the more longevity we will have in the future. Hard truth number four is that if you love this line of work, you're not gonna wanna quit. No matter how complicated, no matter how hard, no matter how many sleepless nights you're gonna have trying to figure out how to make all of this work, once you get bit by that bug of seeing someone love the work that you've created of them, there's no going back. Being a full-time photographer is one of the best jobs on the planet. And I wake up every day just loving the fact that I know that my work is actively helping people have memories, remember who they are at a certain point in their life, reconnect with themselves and see themselves as they should see themselves rather than how society tells them to see themselves. So if this line of work ends up being for you and it ends up feeding your soul as much as it does mine, you're stuck with it, which is a good thing, right? Which is a beautiful thing. You should love your line of work, right? But just know that if this is for you, then it's gonna be for you for life. Anyway, that's the four hard truths about being a full-time photographer in 2023. If you're a full-time photographer, add your own truths in the comments below. Again, I'm Caleb, I'm a boudoir photographer based in Bend, Oregon. Be sure to like this video, subscribe to the channel, follow me on TikTok, Instagram, Thread, and we would love to have you over on my Patreon. We have a lot of fun over there. You get to see my work as it was meant to be with no cropping, no censorship. We all know how bad social media censorship's been lately. So again, thanks for watching and we'll see you next time.